Hello and welcome to my Surfer AI review. This is going to be a quick review and tutorial for their AI content editor where you can actually write it with AI, get it done pretty quickly so that you can save a ton of time. If you want to check out Surfer SEO, I will leave my link down below where you can check that out and follow along if you'd like. So here we are on the inside. It's going to be the content editor where it says AI inside. Normally, when you go to write it yourself, you're going to add in your keyword. But given the fact we have write with AI for this specific keyword, I'm going to be doing website versus sales funnel. And all we need to do is click on the create for AI credit right here for one AI credit. And let's do that now. All right, and once that is done loading, it'll take a few seconds or so, we wanna click on the complete your article right here. All right, so we've arrived at the first step. First thing we wanna do is utilize the tone of voice. Here it has auto insert based, and there's gonna be a few others that we can do. Normally I like something like witty, but I think auto insert based is gonna be just fine. For the outline, we can review and edit these suggested headings before generating an article. I like that. I want to review that in case I want to change it up. And there's anti-AI detection. Activating it may result in a lower content score and a less natural language. I don't really care about that too much. I want a little bit better quality, so I'm going to stick with that off. Let's click on Create Outline. I like how it says, working hard to showcase the difference between website and sales funnels. Hitting the keys like a maestro, composing his masterpiece. So you get some witty commentary while well, it's going to be loading. But anyway, once it's done, I'll get back to you. All right, so now that our outline is finally done, of course, here's going to be our main title, Website for Sales Funnel, which is best for your business. I like that because that's usually the kind of commonality or what someone would be asking if they're going to be comparing it, you know, which one should you use, why should you use it, and so on and so forth. So understanding websites and sales funnels so that's the h2 then underneath that we have our h3 is the role of a business website and the role of a sales funnel good comparing websites and sales funnels the key differences the goal orientation user experience conversion rates uh, h2 integrating sales funnels into your business website creating effective sales funnel pages connecting your sales funnel to your marketing strategy uh, advantages of using a sales funnel platform some more h3s and then real life examples of successful sales funnels so all right, and when it comes to the conclusion or the last H2, we have our real life examples of successful sales funnels. I think I'd want something more of like, you know, what's going to be the go-to. We talked about all the like the perks, the pros and the cons of which one, when to use it, like in terms of website for sales funnel. So let me change this around really quickly. I think that's a better way of concluding it. So everything else actually looks pretty good. Like if I was going to write this article myself, I would certainly use this outline, except maybe for the last one, which I changed around. So that looks pretty good. So let's click on the let's write button. Okay, and just like that, here's going to be the article completely done for us, which is pretty cool if you've ever gone to use server before and you know you had to do it manually or maybe you combine it with Jasper or use any other type of AI. It's nice to be able to say, this is what I want to create an article about, optimize it for me, and here it is. So our content score is going to be a healthy 80, which is good. I usually recommend like anywhere from like say 75 to 90. You don't have to go crazy getting it all the way to 100. I think that's just going to waste too much time. For words, we have 1,810 out of 1,870 max. Headings, a few more than recommended, not a huge deal. Paragraphs, like, probably not a huge deal as well. Images, there are going to be some placeholders here where we can edit and, of course, upload those and wasn't transferring to our website. And I thought there'd be a little bit more green here, but overall, not too bad. It seems like a lot of these are just used a little bit more frequently than normal. But nevertheless, we have our high content score. And what I'm going to do is just simply read through most of this because that's going to be the biggest thing. Like, how high of quality is this? Is this worth posting on your website? Does it read fluently? You know, is it is it something you'd be proud of to post? Because I know that's a very big question, even like when using any type of AI. Okay, it produces good quality, but would I be happy, you know, putting this towards my name or my brand and so on and so forth? So without any further ado, let's read through it and I'll give you my thoughts as we go. So in the digital age, businesses face the challenge of establishing an effective online presence to engage potential customers. The choice between a traditional website or a sales funnel can have a significant impact on your success. Which approach is best for your business? This blog post will explore the roles of websites and sales funnels, compare their key differences, and provide guidance on integrating and choosing the optimal source for your unique business needs, website versus sales funnel. thought that maybe was just kind of like added in there, but I mean, that is what we're talking about. So we have a short summary here, how they're essential components. I like this. This is kind of like the cliff notes here, each serving different functions. In the middle one, we have understanding the goal orientation, user experience, and conversion rates of both is key in determining which approach best suits your business and integrating sales funnel into your business or using an online platform can help optimize customer journey to maximize conversions and revenue. So 
Understanding that, the websites and sales funnels, let's kind of quickly go through this. As a business owner, it's crucial to understand the roles of websites and sales funnels to make informed decisions about your online presence. Websites serve as your digital storefront, providing information about your business, products, and services to potential customers. On the other hand, sales funnels are structured pathways to design to guide your customers through the buying process from product awareness to purchase. Both websites and sales funnels play important roles in the customer journey, but they have different functions and goals. This distinction is essential when evaluating which option would yield a higher return on investment for your business. So far, so good. I think the quality is very high. I think it flows nicely. There's nothing that's really out of place, you know, where sometimes you're like, eh, maybe that sentence could have been a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, or the grammar was just, you know, needs improvement, I guess is the best way to do it. So the role of a business website. So is a collection of interconnected web pages hosted on a single domain serving as an online representation of your company. It is vital in maintaining your online presence, providing information about your products and services, and communicating with potential and existing customers. However, a business website is often not enough to convert visitors into paying customers. This is due to a lack of a clear path for conversions as the vast amount of information and options can easily overwhelm potential customers. I think that is a phenomenal definition and kind of pointing out one of the biggest holes when it comes to say a website or a sales funnel versus a sales funnel is that there's so many distractions. You go there and you have all the menus up the top. You have the disclaimers, you have the affiliate uh, disclaimer as well, the privacy policy, the contact, you have the floating bar on the right side. You have your ads on the bottom. You have the video playing, you have the links in there. There's just so many things that they can do where it's with a sales funnel, you usually have one clear goal and it's right smack dab in front of your face. So that is nicely written. The role of a sales funnel, in contrast, is a marketing tool. So I like that as well. So it says in contrast, as if it is the second one. Like we're talking about the website first, but then the sales funnel and in contrast, nicely started. A sales funnel is a marketing tool designed to facilitate a customer's progress through the purchase process with initial awareness to lasting loyalty. It consists of a series of stages such as awareness, interest, desire, action, decision, and refusal. Not refusal. We don't want that, right? Sales funnels offer a more focused approach to guiding potential customers Customers towards a purchase, ultimately increasing conversion, rate, conversion rates and revenue for your business. By targeting the right market and nurturing leads, sales funnels can help turn potential customers into loyal patrons. So it's kind of quickly scrolling through. I'm not going to read through all of it. I think you kind of get the idea here. So far, this is great. Definitely two thumbs up. Like, would you post this on your website? Like, if you had a blog about this, the answer is yes for me. Absolutely. It's professional. It's nicely written. It's nicely crafted. I love the fact that the paragraphs aren't super long. If you've ever seen before, or I always talk about this, if you go onto like a forum or something, people will write, say this entire article here and they'll put no paragraph breaks and it just drives me crazy. It's so hard to read that you usually just hit back. Uh, goal orientation, talking about some differences. The user experience uh, are going to differ. Let's see, allowing visitors to explore various aspects with their website. And of course, with the funnel, there's a sequence of steps to complete a specific action, exactly what I talked about. And usually that action is very clear. If you come to a squeeze page, it's generating leads. It's usually right in front of your face. Enter your email, get this free cookie. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, conversion rates. The focus nature of sales funnels lends itself to a higher conversion rate. Perfect. Absolutely correct there. Obviously, websites, so many things going on. So I'm curious about how it talks about this with integrating. Obviously, maybe you could use a picture here. Maybe you're using like Kartra or ClickFunnels or System or whatever it's going to be. You know, you can use an example of that. It's not talking about any specific, say, funnel builders, but that's just something I'm throwing out there. It talks about how it can maximize your conversions. So by using sales funnels and connecting them to your marketing strategy, strategy with the right setup. Uh, it's a seamless customer journey. So talking more about this, crafting a clear call to action, there probably could be a little bit more here, but I don't think I can blame it, especially for the fact that we have pretty much almost maxed out the amount of words that we need here. And of course, there's going to be other sections where we need to add more to it. But this is something you could certainly add more to or maybe link to a different article on your page. Hey, if you want to see how to set up the Kartra sales funnels, they're a great funnel builder. Click this link, check it out and so on and so forth. Uh, connecting your sales funnel to your marketing strategy. I'm just going to slowly scroll through this. If you ever want to like stop it and read it yourself, just kind of skimming over, I'd say it's the quality still looks great as the beginning. So the streamlined sales process, customizable templates. Of course, there are plenty of those analytics and tracking. So here is the big one. Let's read this. Uh, so should you use this? Oh, so not only that, 
This was our conclusion and it has a summary, but let's read this because I'm curious to see what this has to say. The decision to use a website or sales funnel depends on your business needs and goals. Thank you. Okay. It always depends. You know, <laughs> I think that's the perfect answer because like, well, what do you need? It's going to depend on what you need. Anyway, while websites offer a comprehensive online presence and provide valuable information to potential customers, sales funnels are more focused on driving conversions and increasing revenue. Ultimately, the choice between a website and a sales funnel comes down to your specific objectives and target market. By carefully weighing the pros and cons of each approach and considering your unique business requirements, you can make an informed decision that will lead to the best possible results for your online presence. Absolutely perfect. I like that answer. Here's all the pros and cons. Here's everything we talked about. Make sure you keep in mind the benefits of you using a sales funnel or a website. You should have a good idea which one you need based upon what we talked about. It doesn't actually give you the answer. You got to think a little bit more about it to find the best option for you. And I like that. So, so in summary, uh, they, they both play a crucial role. It talks about websites doing well, uh, integrating sales funnel. And the choice depends on your unique business needs and goals. I couldn't agree anymore. So now we have some FAQs. Do you need a website to have a sales funnel? No. What is the sales funnel on a website? Is the sales funnel outdated? Absolutely not. And what is the difference between click funnels and sales funnels? So this is the one time they actually added in a different software. So that's cool to see. Maybe that's a recommended question or a very popular question that might appear, say, in Google. But overall, I am giving this great. I love this. Let's see, how much work does this article require to be ready to publish? I mean, geez, probably that, right? I'd say adding in some images. You know, I wouldn't go too crazy with this. If I wanted to in the future, let's say like I would upload this, I would add some images and so on and so forth. And if I needed to maybe change it around a little bit more, then you can change the specific keywords, maybe reduce a lot of these. You can see a lot of these are overused, but nevertheless, our content score is still great. Uh, so overall, it's a very simple tutorial and kind of concluding my review when it comes to the Surfer AI. Here's what I like about it. It is very easy to set up. The quality of content is very high in my opinion. I think this is phenomenal. I didn't see anything about it that I didn't like. Maybe just this last section here. I'm not sure if it was thrown in just to have it there. But that being like my biggest nitpick, uh, this is definitely a great thing. There's also the aspect of the price, which I'm not going to mention because I know they can always change it. And that can always, you know, dictate whether or not you'd be able to use that or want to use that, especially if scaling really high. But I think the price is pretty fair at the time, especially for like when I'm paying an outsourcer to do a specific article. There's a difference between saying paying less and getting an article that's not really optimized compared to paying a little bit more here and getting an article, but not only that, getting it really highly optimized using a uh, surfer's content editor. And the fact that it only took six minutes to create, of course, we're going through and we're checking it out, maybe changing a few things around, then of course, pasting onto our website, adding the pictures and going from there, probably some interlinking too, but this isn't one where you'd send a ton of backlinks to, unless you really wanted to rank this high. I mean, that's up to you. You choose what you want to rank for, but all in all, I think this is a great addition to surfer, especially if you want to create some content as as opposed to outsourcing it, you really just got to compare your costs based upon what Surfer has to offer versus say getting an agency to do it. That's going to be up to you. But nevertheless, a very high quality software here, or at least addition to the software that they already had, which is Surfer SEO. Thank you so much for watching my review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out Surfer SEO, I will leave that link down below. And keep in mind, this is an addition to Surfer SEO where you can pay per article or every single article that you want to create. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.